Hey guys, XFox here, and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to bind your Spectrum DX2L basically to your receiver. Uh, when I got this, especially for the Camor Vatera, it actually didn't come bound, and I thought maybe something was wrong with my you know, ESC or my receiver. But it actually didn't come bound or ba however you want to say it to the actual receiver. So here's a quick little guide for you. So as you guys can see, I already have the battery plugged in. I'm going to turn this on with this remote here. Whoa! Got the trim here turned up a little bit too high. And you guys can already see this remote here is already bound to that particular car. So I'm going to take this other one I have here and show you guys how I would bind it. Say if I accidentally grab the wrong remote and you don't want to be out of luck. So there's really only one thing you need and you should get this inside your guys' kit here. This is basically the, uh, the sort of bind plug right here. And the bind plug is going to go into you guys can see this. It's going to go into sort of that loose one that's hanging out there. You guys can see this. You guys should have the one that goes to the ESC and the servo. And then, of course, you're going to have this one that's just sort of sitting out here. And I'm going to turn this all off and plug it in here just in a second. All right. So what I went ahead and did is went ahead and plugged that bind plug into the free-floating little slot right there. And what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and turn on your car. And you'll notice, if you guys can see the little green light in there, it's going to go ahead and start blinking. And basically it's saying, hey, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to be bound. So what you want to do on your remote is on the very top, there's going to be a bind button. You want to hold it, then turn on your remote. And you'll notice that little red light right there. It's going to blink, 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 and then it's going to go solid here. So there you go. Release it. Now, you should, you sh you should be good, but what I typically will do is turn off everything. Turn that off. Turn this off. Take out the bind plug out of the car, turn on my radio, turn back on my car, and give it a, oops, let me, let me set the adjustments here, and you should be ready to go. Now that's the easy way to, <laughs> to go ahead and set it. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out out there to quickly bind your radio to your, uh, to your DX2L. Thanks again, guys.